the general um, look is that the elections were free and fair, and uh, people are happy about it, most people. But if there are more than 500 people who have died after the elections, or the violence before the elections, how, how can you have that kind of assessment? Well, I, I think the assessment of, of the elections being free or fair, that's, uh, there, there's still, I mean, you can say the jury is still out by, on, on that account. There's still, election observers are still releasing their final reports, and we will see in terms of how, how the outcome is, and also during the election petitions. Um, as, as, as the information, as the, the election results are litigated through the courts. But what you raise is a very important point because following the presidential elections, we saw some of the highest levels of uh, election-related violence that we've seen within the history of, of Nigerians, uh, Nigeria's elections. Um, on, on the Sunday following Saturday's polls, you saw when it became clear that the leading opposition candidate, uh, Mohamedou Buhari, had lost the elections, his supporters took to the streets and towns across the north protesting uh, what they said were the rigging of, of the elections. Those, those uh, protests uh, soon turned violent, mm -hmm. and the protesters began to uh, attack uh, houses and buildings of PDP chieftains, this is the ruling party chieftains, as well as traditional leaders. Most of these uh, individuals uh, at that time, they were Muslim leaders. But the, the rioting soon degenerated into sectarian and, and uh, ethnic-based uh, violence that spread across the north. And as you mentioned, hundreds uh, were killed over during the three days of, of, uh, of rioting. What could have happened during the, 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 the voting itself uh, to prevent such rioting? Well, it's, it's tough in terms of saying what, what uh, you have to look at it in, in a number of, number of ways. One is what should have been the response of the security forces in some of the towns, for example, that uh, I visited in southern Kaduna, is that you had uh, violence and killings that went on throughout the night, yet they said they saw no police. Uh, and it was not until the following day when the military was deployed to the streets uh, that, the, that, the, that the killings were stopped. And so the question is, is very, uh, very uh, serious questions that must be raised about the ability and the, the, the efficiency of the Nigeria police force in order to uh, provide security for Nigeria's citizens. Mm -hmm. the, the elections very much divided the country, as I think the commentary has, has as the commentators have, have, have already put forth, in that Buhari won the vast, uh, the, the majority of the votes in the north, predominantly Muslim, while good luck Jonathan, uh, who is Christian from the far south, swept the south. And so there, there was, and there, be, there, the security forces must have anticipated that there, it, there, there was a risk of, of post-election violence following uh, the announcement or following the, the presidential polls.